our scary countdown to Halloween continues with a tour of the Mansfield Reformatory. Now, this time of year, pretty much the entire prison is transformed into a haunted house known as one of the scariest places in the entire state. Cleveland 19's Nicole Versansky walked through it all and survived and is here to tell us about it. Although I'm thinking I would have been better running, maybe sprinting <laughs> through it all. It's 45 minutes, so I should have gotten it over a lot faster I know, if I was scary. running. Should have thought about that. That's my tip for all of you if you head out there. A few morning show producers, Jamie Sullivan and I got the daylight, no actors, easy tour, and I don't even think I'd be brave enough to go through the real one. We screamed, you might scream watching, so that's your warning that what you're about to see is spooky. Enter if you dare. A few morning crew members got a tiny taste of what the 30 to 40,000 people who enter the haunted house at the Mansfield Reformatory are trick and treated to every year. <laughs> It's 250,000 square feet of sheer terror. This is serious. Takes 45 minutes to get through. Yeah, the cell blocks, solitary, okay. basement. Ranked among the scariest in the state. <laughs> Vic Amasquita is in charge of it. 120 people helped put this on, including more than 60 actors in full movie grade costume and makeup. If you want your experience a little more intense and you want uh, more scare, uh, you wear the touch pass, which is a glow in the dark necklace or a wristband, and that gives the actors, oh, they see that and they're like, oh, we can touch them. I'll just walk through yeah. like this. Walking down the rickety steps to the dark, damp smelling basement was the creepiest. Um, for the most part, it's just music, disorientation, and lights. This is where the solitary confinement for prisoners used to be, and Halloween or not, many believe it's haunted. Vic says he doesn't buy into the paranormal, but he certainly can't deny this. I was right here. We were looking down this alley. We got done. I was like, all right, I got about right here. And the light went back on. And it flipped right back on, and yeah. The switch was flipped, too. Yeah, just like that. Oh, that one lost its. <laughs> So we made it through the zombies, the circus, the hospital, the basement, and just when we think we're safe, posing for the We Escaped Blood Prison photo. <laughs> yep, Vic with another trick for his sleep. <laughs> so wait, so does anything scare you? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go on record as saying nothing scares me. How's that sound? He might have changed his story a little bit after oh, the fact, but but we won't say anything. <laughs> but I have to say the hardest thing about this story was a lot of it, we really couldn't even put it on TV because mm. it was oh, wow. just that creepy. Now it runs to November 5th, so if you guys want to go out there, you are more than welcome. I Jamie like I and I will be here. Guys. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> yeah. I lived through you guys enough we right will. there. No, it would be great if we could sit outside and watch the camera of them like, oh, we know what's coming up. The, the crazy thing I have to say is there was like three different areas where we'd stop and we thought it was like, whew, okay, we made yeah. it, we're done. Oh no. Oof. Keep going. This, this whole thing, you said it was like 45 minutes to get through? It's 45 <laughs> minutes Jeez. to get through and we were creeping so slow, so I think it was a little longer oh, for yeah. us. But you know, when we say the basement, what you don't realize is that you're going down into this base. It's really like three levels of a basement because we kept going down further mm -hmm. and further and that to me was, like and the creepy. We went broad daylight. Right. You know, so when we were in the upper levels, and it was still creepy. Right. But yeah, when we went down in the basement, we got the real experience. And the there. basement looked like it did not smell too good either. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, collective that now. just yeah. adds to it all. That's part of the experience that you really don't, you know, see on TV, mm -hmm. obviously. But another part too, in the broad daylight, we talk about disorientation. Mm -hmm. There's these two like balloons that they <laughs> filled up, and it was like they're black balloons, and you literally have to go through it, and it makes you feel like you're in a tunnel and uh, you can't right. escape. If you're claustrophobic, right? And it's like a football field okay. long. It's really long, and that for me was really uncomfortable because I felt like, oh my you can't goodness, get, out. get me out of here, get me out of here. Now, we'll right. only go if Sam goes with us. <laughs> no way. Sam is not going.